Once upon a time, I was a monk. Or at least I lived with the monks. You see, back in 2008, the world was bad to me. Everything around me was negative. Every person around me was negative. I hated my life. I wanted to take my life. And I decided before I do that, I'm gonna call a friend, Michael from Austria, and, and ask him if he can get me out of Berlin where I was living at the time. Because if he didn't, I might not be there much longer. So he picked me up and he dropped me off at a monastery, unbeknownst to me. He dropped me off at a monastery in Austria, in the mountains of Austria. And I, I went in there and I said to the monks, hey, I have these problems, how do I fix them? And they said, well, the first thing, we can't tell you the answer to that. I said, what do you mean you can't tell? You're a monk, you're like, you're like next to God and Jesus and the holy, holy, holy world, right? And they said, the answers don't come from the outside, the answers come from the inside. I was like, oh, just, here we go, psychological hug bug, right, humbug. And I said, well, where do I, how do I do it? How do I get them out? And he goes, you can't get them out, you have to let them out. I said, okay, what's the difference? He said, letting them out means you don't pull and you don't push, you just open and release, and, and then you let them out. I'm like, okay, that sounds good. Is there an exercise? He goes, yep, go to the forest. So I went to the forest, and he said, meditate. And I was like, okay, meditate, that's good. Now this is a Christian monk, mind you, a Christian monk telling me to meditate. It turns out Benedictine monks are monks who meditate, so go figure. And um, so I went to the forest, and as the hours turned into days, and the days turned into weeks, uh, I noticed that I was meditating longer and longer every day, but the perceived time of meditation was shorter and shorter. So by the end of a few weeks, I was meditating every day for about four to six hours, not in one slot, but usually two hours or three, you know, three hours at a time. And it seemed like 10 minutes. That's how deep I got. And I was wondering like, wow, what's the progress? I mean, the progress that I made was incredible. So how did that happen? And then it hit me today. I was like, wow, man, no wonder. You know why? Because at 5.45 every single morning, they would get up, the monks, and go to the chapel, the, 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 the Knights Chapel, which was founded in 900 something or other, yeah, with the original stone and everything in there. We would go in there and we, they would chant, in some language, whether it's sometimes Greek, sometimes Latin, sometimes uh, German, sometimes English, what is sometimes French, and they would chant. And that was their magic morning, because then they'd go, and then they'd do, they'd do some chores and they'd eat breakfast. Then they'd go to the church and start sermons. So even the monks, the holy monks, had a magic morning. It just dawned on me. Now tell me this. If every successful person in the world has a magic morning, and even monks have a magic morning, and you don't, what's the piece of the puzzle is missing? Think of Sesame Street. What's missing in this picture? What's missing in this picture is you getting out there and making sure that you start your day great every single day because when you start your day great, your day goes great. Nothing stands in your way. And just like me, it's every little thing. This is my fourth part of my magic morning, every morning. First one is meditation. Second one is journaling. And third one is learning on, e on, on audiobooks. And fourth one is in the gym. This is what I do. As you see, I'm wearing my Superman shirt today. Why? Because I feel like Superman. And how I feel and how I dictate my feelings is how my day's gonna go. So I'm unstoppable today, why? Because Superman's always unstoppable, right? Call it goofy, call it what you want, but this is how I live my life and this is why I'm always surging to achieve more, be better, be higher, you know? And I don't mean that in an egotistical way, I mean that in a way because the bigger I am, the more I have, the more I can give, the more I can share, the more I can emulate the world that I wanna have around me, for my family, my friends, everyone else. You got me? <laughs> Look, I'm not gonna try to talk you into having a magic morning, but if you try it for a week and get back to me, let me know how it goes, I guarantee you're gonna feel much better. Other than that, at least get to the gym, because a healthy body and a healthy mind will give you 30% more chance of being successful, just because you go to the gym. Yeah, it's a fact. I'm sorry the music is just Euro trash music again. All right, everybody, that's it. That's all I wanted to say today. Today's your day. Get out there and be that Adonis and be whoever it is that you want to be, all right? Because this is your choice. This is your life. Nobody will live it for you. No one's going to save you. You decide. You dictate. Make it happen. Quality of life all day long, every day, your life. See you tomorrow. <laughs>